Today we're going to talk about something that's a bit tricky in Illustrator because there's no built-in function for it. We're talking about collecting fonts. So if you're in InDesign, you can go File, Package, and it'll package everything. It'll put copy over all the contents of your document and your document into a folder together. So it gathers it all, it packages it. There's no package function in Illustrator. There is a plugin available online that you can buy that's uh, available commercially. Uh, otherwise, you're on your own. So uh, we're going to take a look at the find font command. So here I have this ad and I've set it all in Myriad Pro. There's Myriad Pro bold condensed and Myriad Pro condensed regular and uh, different variations or instances of Myriad Pro. So what I'm going to do is simply go to the type menu and choose find font. So I click on this and it gives me a window that shows me the fonts in this document. So it shows me all this Myriad Pro instances, but it also shows me Rockwell. So I never set Rockwell in this, in this document, but it's clearly there. So I can go find, which I find doesn't work. When I go look find and it doesn't actually do anything, you'd think it would highlight the text that's in that font, but it doesn't. So here in this, doc, in this dialog, we have the option of replacing it. So I could go click on Rockwell here and then click on Myriad Pro Condensed, let's say, and change it. But I'm curious why Rockwell is even in there to start with. So I'm going to just say done. And what I'm going to do is uh, there's a couple of things I can do. I can go object and make sure that unlock all is done, right? Or else so that nothing is locked or else what I can do is go to my layers palette and make sure that all these elements in here are all unlocked. There's no padlock here. Okay, so that's okay. So everything's unlocked. And what I do is go command A or select all. And what I notice here is that there's an anchor point right here. See when I hover over it, my mouse gets that little black square. And when I click on it, my character menu here shows me that it's in Rockwell. So what happened is that I took my type tool I had Rockwell in the font menu and I clicked and I didn't type anything and I switched away from the tool and it left that anchor point there. So you really have to be sure to delete those things. So if I grab them both here and hit delete and go back to find font, see Rockwell is gone. So now I'm confident that only my Myriad Pro instances are there. So at this point, what I would do is simply use, if well, if your fonts are organized on your computer and you know where Myriad Pro is, grab the whole folder and copy it over. Don't go inside the Myriad Pro folder and start grabbing individual files. Okay, so uh, gr just grab the whole thing. Um, now, the second way of finding it, I'm going to actually put those little anchor points back here. I just did undo. The second way of doing it is, is also fairly reliable. You can go view and uh, show outline instead of preview here. So I do that and see they stand out pretty well. There's X's there. See, so you can see them here no matter how far you zoom out. So view preview is what we usually work in and it shows you your work in full color. And view outline, it's command Y to go back and forth, uh, shows you all your artwork um, just kind of in outlines so you see what's there and these are two empty anchor points so I can click on them and just delete them and then if I go find fonts Rockwell is still gone okay so you should always do that with your work before you hand it into any teachers or any professional projects or anything do command Y to look at your work because you could by the way this has nothing to do with fonts but maybe you just have an anchor point like that that's there and it doesn't do anything and it can cause problems and it's messy and whatever. So always look at your work in uh, outline mode before to see if you have any other junk out there. As a matter of fact, I could have a whole shape that just has no stroke or no fill. So it just doesn't show. See, it just disappeared. I drew a square, filled it with nothing. It has no stroke or no fill and it's just sitting there for nothing. But if I do command Y, it shows up and I see it's useless so I can just delete it. So that has nothing to do with fonts, but it's just a matter of keeping your document clean. Okay, so I hope this helps you out in keeping your documents really clean. It's really important to do this because if you don't gather that Rockwell font with your document, it's going to cause problems. If your printer comes to open it, it's going to say you don't have Rockwell font loaded 
uh, and he's just going to stop and call you and delay the job and everything. So it's really important that you just keep the, the fonts that you've used in your document only and no other ones. Okay, it's a good, uh, a good discipline to keep. All right, I hope this helps you out. We'll see you soon.